Friday night is powered by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Stars and Strikes. Get away and play. Chevrolet. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Great deals on furniture. See it. Buy it. Take it home today. Nissan. Innovation that excites. Viasat providing high-speed internet to those outside the cable zone. Call and get connected today. And Jostens, celebrating moments that matter. Now, the leader in local high school football coverage, WJBF Sports brings you Football Friday Night. Welcome to week nine of Football Friday Night. I'm Brendan Robertson alongside Zach Hughes. We've obviously already got our Halloween costumes on, dressed as what do you think? sports anchors. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> 30 minutes of highlights coming your way from around the CSRA. Yeah, we got highlights from 16 games across the area, including our game night live matchup, a Columbia County rivalry between Greenbrier and Grovetown, and of course, our top plays of the evening. That's right, we'll start in the Palmetto State. The South Lincoln Thoroughbreds coming off a thrilling last second win over Brooklyn Casey last week. They're 2-0 in region play at 5-2, 1-1 in the region for North Augusta. This is a crucial matchup tonight, 4A Region 5. And it was a tale of two halves. We'll go second quarter, South Lincoln up 7-0. Jesse Sanders hands it off to Travius Butler, follows blockers for 10 yards, and the touchdown, T-Breds up 14-0. North Augusta would then get on the board. Tanner White keeps it around the right side and smashes it in for the four-yard touchdown. Yellow Jackets trail 17-7 at the half. Third quarter, Tanner White can't handle the low snap, but Braden Bracio comes out of nowhere, scoops it, scores it for South Aiken, and they're up 24-7. But that is when North Augusta flipped the switch. Tanner White, QB sneak for two from the one yard out, cuts the deficit 21-24. Then in the fourth, White fakes out everyone, including our talented cameraman. Where's he going? Talented. That's Lonnie Lee. Far sideline, that's 43 yards, the go ahead touchdown. Yellow Jackets take their first lead 27-24. Jesse Sanders trying to bring his team back, but across the middle, picked off by Gunner Trahan. So we're in the midst of 24 unanswered points, I believe, for North Augusta. Then Tanner White, Gonna put the game away. His fifth touchdown of the game, fourth on the ground with a five yard keeper around the right side. And it was 27 unanswered points from North Augusta. The monster comeback. They went 34 to 24. Here's Brian Thomas. We talk about family all the time. And like I said, we've had some tough days. You know, we've, we've lost two games. We felt like we gave both of them away. And, and a little like tonight, we were kind of shooting ourselves in the foot. It definitely wasn't just me. It was a great all-around offensive effort in the second half. We should have played like we played in the second half in the first half. If we play like that, nobody can play with us. They never die. They never die. I mean, you know, it's never over. Until the clock goes off, it's never over. And the whistle blows, it's never over. Those guys, like I said, they poured everything they had into it. They found their why. They found their purpose. We just got to find it for four quarters. It's an impressive comeback win. All right, let's go to Aiken High. Picking up their first win in nearly two years last week against Midland Valley. The Hornets on the road against Airport. Early first, Aiken's big time play from Corey Wallace to Chavis Jones goes 59 yards. The must Aiken High on the board. 7 0. Now in the second, same pair hooking up 49 yard bomb. Look at this. Check out the one. snag, Zach though. Hughes. Come oh, back. Behind Over his the head. shoulder. Nice Missed another there. extra point, so it was 12 0. Then an interception for Airport leads them. To their first points of the night, QB keeper by Brandon Kaufman. It's 12-7. Minutes later, Aiken again in the red zone. Corey Wallace, 19-7. Hornets out in front. But Kaufman for airport. Scampering from two yards out. Makes it 19-14 in the first half. And the Eagles rally for a win over Aiken High tonight, 37-34. Zach, your turn. Midland Valley still searching for its first win of the season. Visiting Brooklyn Casey tonight. Third quarter Bearcats already up 21-0. Reed Sharpie. Keeps scampers in for the touchdown to make it a 28-0 game. Ensuing kickoff, though, Mustangs looking for some life. They need a big play, and they get it. Brian Staley on the kickoff return, finds a crease, takes it deep into Brooklyn Casey territory before being run out of bounds. And then in the fourth, Harper Puckett hits DeAndre Pearson for the score, but it wouldn't be enough. Brooklyn Casey gets the win tonight, 31-13, the final score. Top 10 showdown in Class 3A at Strom Thurman. Number six, Strom hosting number seven, Gilbert. 
The Indians had won the last two in this series. Third quarter, Strom leading 12 0. Have the ball with great field position after a short punt by Gilbert. Gilbert, Charquez, Booker takes the pitch inside the five. And then next play, Booker cashes in for the touchdown. That made it 18 0. Fourth quarter now, same score. Jai Tolan hits CJ Metz for the touchdown. Gilbert made it a game, but the Rebels hang on for an 18 13 win. Huge win for Strong. All right, Silver Bluff on the road against the top team in the state, Abbeville. They took down Fox Creek last week. Silver Bluff's Jimmy Foreman getting the kickoff, getting a little room down the sideline and setting up some decent field position for the Bluff. Then Jamal Washington elects to keep it dogpiled by a whole host of Panthers. Silver Bluff still in possession, a little trickeration. Reverse, and then Zach the double reverse to Jacory Tanksley. You gotta try Tanksley. what you gotta try against the top ranked the team top in the state. The top ranked team in the state. Gets some blocks, gets a first down, but Silver Bluff going to punt, things go bad, and well, 37-6 yeah, well, tonight. <laughs> Abbeville over Silver Bluff. All right, top 10 Class A matchup in Region 3. Number two, Wagner Sally. Number eight, Ridge Spring Manetta. War Eagles 3-0 in the region. First play, Wagner Sally has their punt blocked, and Johnny Freeman has it down at the 15-yard line. Still in the first quarter. Now fourth down. Ridge Springs Remedy Leapard going deep. Ragwan Preston incomplete. So Wagner Sally takes over after the turnover on downs. Then Michael Landy going to throw to AJ Swedenberg. This is 35 yards on that That's tight spiral. Point. Yeah, high point. It. First down. Second quarter now. Kevin Jackson is going to go on the keeper. Eventually, we got some celebration in there. Kevin Jackson. Yeah, number two was really liking that play. For the tutty. And the two-point conversion was good as well. It was 8-0 Wagner. Sally, the War Eagles win this top 10 throwdown, 20-6 for the final. All right, that's a, a start to our Palmetto State highlights. we got much more to get to. Yeah, some huge region games in the Peach State, those highlights, and much more when Football Friday Night continues. Supporting high school athletics, McDonald's, proud sponsor of football Friday night.